Hi, Tommy here, and I figured I'll go ahead and get a new video put up. I've got some other ones for some unboxing and reviews of some lightsabers that I have, but today I'm doing something a little bit new and different. So, last year on Kickstarter, Krua Outdoors launched a new Kickstarter campaign for a Krua Koala Hammock. It's a multi-purpose, wide-function uh, hammock that has quite a few features. Some cool built-in added things. It has a dual-option layout where you can add an extra tie-down to to go from laying flat to a bit more of a seated position also. Uh, their campaign had varying levels from just the hammock itself to getting other options and upgrades where you could actually have it be more versatile to have uh, bug mesh, uh, rain cover, uh, pillows, and quilts that goes with it. That way it actually would be quite handy for some hammock camping in all weather conditions. Uh, their delivery had been a little bit delayed due to some other uh, Timings and issues. I believe it was originally expected to be in homes uh, around about the end of last year, but it is now just beginning of February, and mine actually just came in today. Last update we had just a couple of days ago to cleared customs. I wasn't actually expecting it to get to me quite so fast after it had cleared customs, but that was just a welcome surprise when all of a sudden I got a notification from FedEx saying that there's a package on the way to me. That was the only thing I was anticipating to ship out anytime soon. So when I got home today, I found a nice box from Crew Up. And so, here we go. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a unboxing video and share the experience of opening up this brand new kit. Uh, for everyone else to see what we got. So the packaging is nice. Uh, overall, for everything that I have in here is uh, only about 11 pounds or so. So it's actually quite light, which is a nice added bonus. So let's see where I place that knife. There it is. So I can go ahead and cut this box open. So... I love doing camping and stuff outdoors, and when I saw this campaign pop up, I'm like, ooh, that might be a nice hammock to go ahead and do to add for an optional thing to do instead of just tent camping. I can set up the hammock, get it packed down nice and easy, and it's a whole different experience. So, here we go. As you can see inside, Everything is bagged up individually, packed up, nice and nice and careful. Comes with a handy book that looks like it has a little bit of company information about them. Uh, talks about their technology and some of their other items they have. They have um, a variety of other tents and such, as well as some other... Um, a tent that also can be a, a hammock tent. You can either set up on the ground or you can actually sling it between a couple of trees. And as you see, they have a modular system at the bottom. They have a, a pillow type uh, cocoon that's insulated for all season weather. So, you know, there's, I'll probably be picking up some other items from them uh, down the road just to increase my capabilities for outdoor time and all that. Um, and then also it has a user manual for the hammock itself with setup instructions and guidelines for how to go about and get everything set up as well as some pictures for reference on items. So we'll go ahead, we'll start pulling items out and see what we have in here. Now I did get the full kit, so I got uh, everything that comes with a single hammock setup. So it comes with a camping light also. So this is cool. This would take, this takes three AAA batteries. So 
It's nice and small. Has a carabiner style uh, swing clip. That way you can hang it. Alright. First thing we pull out. So, actually, let me go ahead and grab this up. I think this actually shows. Does it show all the pieces? Alright, so. The contents of this is one koala hammock, a bug mesh, two spreader bars, which you can use as spreader bars uh, for a more lay flat type positioning, or you can remove the spreader bars and you'll get that nice uh, wrap around the body. Uh, you get two tree straps, there's a pillow in here, and then the optional items, which is what everything that I should have in my kit. Includes the quilt, a tarp, the LED light, just pulled that one out, and a tablet holder. So, alright, this one here, this looks like this would be the tablet holder. So it's got a screen here. And then it's got a couple of straps also. Yep, so... That would be the hook to set, you could hang your tablet for a uh, landscape type layout and it looks like you could get these straps tied off that way it kind of would hang in place for however your, uh, your setup and layout is. Next item, let's see what do we got here. This here looks like it's going to be the tarp. Comes in its own sack here. Yep, and this is the rain tarp. Comes with stakes, that way you can stake it on either end for the corners to uh, keep them held up. Yep, and then the straps are already ad attached to each of the tags in the corner. So that comes all nice together. And then originally it launched with a in blue, and I believe one of the uh, upgrades that we're going to add up down the line as the project went on was additional color, and they ended up get, picking up a gray. Uh, I like the gray because it was a bit more of a Universal color blue. I like blue, but I like having stuff that kind of can match or be universal overall. So, and I like to look at the grays that they had. So, I opted for that color option when that was released. So, next one here. All right. So, this here, this will be the pillow in this small bag here, which the rest of this. This bag here would contain the hammock itself in a stuff sack, and in case you get lost or forget, you notice I'll say it's a small stuff sack, P.S. Hammock packs into here, which can be quite handy because sometimes you can just, like, you already got a bunch of bags, all right, what stuff goes where, and all that. You can see this ridge along here, those are going to be the spreader bars. Sack's nice, it's lightweight. Straps are in here also. Straps times two. Got the spreader bars. Packed down nice and small that way. Uh, very handy for small that way you can take up a lot less space overall. And then we got Let's see. All right. All right. So I'm not going to pull everything out just because this can get quite messy and it'll take up a lot of space. Actually, you know what? It almost appears that this hammock actually kind of, the ham is actually a part of the bag itself, it seems, maybe. There's a portion that's still attached here, and there's all sorts of other pouches and stuff that have other cool little features. There's this little insulated pocket that pulls out first, which is 
attached to the one edge of the bag here. So it looks like they made the bag and the hammock all one piece. That way you don't have separate bags, which is actually, I think, really cool and a nice little feature. So this one here, got a nice little image, which I imagine you can figure out what you got that goes there. And it says, which I think is quite clever, you know what rhymes with hammock? Beer. Well, you know what? I don't see how that does not work. The pouch itself does have a uh, insulated padding around the sides. So that way it helps keep your, your drink nice and cold, whether you're drinking a soda or a nice beer or a cider. I brew my own, so that'll actually be a quite handy. And then you can see there's the bug mesh uh, already zipped onto it. I'm not going to unpack that any further just because I have very limited space where I currently am. Uh, also, unfortunately, due to it being dead of winter and we got snow all over the place, I don't know a whole lot of areas where I can actually go ahead and set this up right now to test it out. Due to current campsite availability in most places, there are, are going to be closed up for the winter around this area. But that is something that I definitely want to do to check out. And it's got the straps on the bottom that gives it a compression factor. Let's go ahead, pull it down, tighten it up. That way you can get it to pack it a little bit smaller and tighter, taking up less space overall, which is something that I really like for all my stuff. I can pack up, carry small, or if you're going to toss this into a backpack, if you're out hiking along a mountain trail that has overnight camping areas, you can go ahead, have it in your rucksack and bam, set up wherever you want to hang out for a lunch break or for an overnight camping spot. And the last item in the box is going to be the quilt, which is into this vacuum sealed bag, which helps take up less space because as you know, quilts, once the air gets into them, they get real fluffy. So, as you can see, air got back into it and it's already taking its shape again. So, this also comes in a compression bag. So, there's some more straps and cablings for it. That one there, actually, I'm not going to take that all the way out of the bag because then I'll have to compress and roll that all the way back up again. But this quilt here is uh, can be used a couple different ways. So if you have the spreader bars on your hammock, then the quilt will go under the koala. Uh, and you would use the included guy lines for each corner of the quilt, cross the guy lines over the koala, then loop them through the opposite side tag. So that creates a a bottom barrier underneath the hammock itself. If you're using it, the hammock without the spreader bars, so instead of it being flat, you've got that nice cradled factor lying in, then this would actually go around the entire hammock and yourself into it. Um, it's a uh, over the tarp type um, quilt. So that would just, you would just hook it onto, feed the hammock through the one end, and everything cinches down in and I'll hold this up so you can kind of see the images to get a an idea of how everything how that uh, quilt you can see up on the top the far side one you see the blue underneath that hammock that's the quilt attached to the bottom of the hammock on the underside and then the bottom two images is the quilt over the entire hammock with yourself in it configuration that way you've got yourself nice and snuggled up. So I don't recall offhand what the rating on this quilt was. I know it had a good winter one. Uh, let me pull up the, <coughs> the campaign real quick. It should have those specs in here that I should be able to pull up uh, quickly. All right, let's see. Materials, uh, the hammock and the underquilt are made with 210T nylon. Um, the hammock's basically like parachute nylon. 
the tarp is 190T polyester, 300 millimeter, and it's waterproof. So that is uh, nice and handy there. I uh, see. It should be. It basically is rated for winter, but that exact low point temperature rating, I just didn't quite remember. Not off the top of my head. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones, quilts out there, and sleeping bags that have different uh, low temperature point ratings. Whether it's a, a zero degree or a twenty degree. Uh, temperature and we should be able to find I know it's listed somewhere that it was let me pull let me go to All right, uh, at a quick glance, I'm having a little trouble trying to find that exact spec right now. I'd imagine it's probably going to be on the website or stuff like that where there will be more details laid out where everything's all easy to see exactly how everything's supposed to uh, fit together in full technical details and supports. Uh, actually, I'll, pull up, I'll show you this image here. I don't know if the screen will actually focus on that because of the light on the camera. Sorry to don't show there. But on the, the page, it does have a, a top view sketch diagram of the hammock with the different pockets and features that it has. So there are some other little hanging pouches, kind of like that one that I pulled out in the top corner that had that uh, beer koozie holder. There's also... Um, other smaller pouches inside for where you can keep um, some snacks if you're going to munch on something. That way it's not just laying scattered all about throughout you. Has stuff all the way along the sides where you can have um, cell phone holders, tablet or book holders, um, a big stuff sack for jackets, sweaters, and it has size dimensions. So there's a eight and three quarters by four and three quarter inch pocket. There's a six and three quarters by four inch pocket for like a cell phone. Uh, there's a 12 inch by eight and three quarter inch pocket. Uh, yep, the small stuff sack, that is actually, yep. So the hammock and the stuff sack badge are all in one piece. So after you open up the hammock and all that, that stuff sack bags then hangs off to the side so you get in you can stick like your shoes into there uh that way you can keep stuff up off the ground uh and i believe also for the pillow there's actually a nestled pocket for where the pillow would go in to keep everything in one nice place and then a couple other pouches on the other side of the of the hammock so the features is actually was really cool and a lot of cool a lot of nice stuff Let's open up this pillow pouch right here take a quick gander at this so it's a nice size as you can see so it is just a little bit bigger than my computer screen. So you're looking at roughly um, 12 to 13 inches, uh, maybe just a little bit larger. Uh, and then we're looking at about nine inches uh, this way and, you know, maybe upwards of 12 to 14 for that range there. Just eyeballing it, guessing there. So as you can see, this pillow actually can inflate up relatively quick. 
got some quilting type action there with some seams. That way it gives you a little bit more shape. You get uh, that nestled pocket. So actually, yeah, that, that little pocket in the middle is nice to cradle your head. Get to the back head right into this little indentation there. The way that's shaped out. So this actually is a pretty, very decent little pillow for for coming with a full kit. For if you don't need to buy anything else, you can get by, you can get by quite well. Um, at some point, I do would like to try to get and do a a setup and review video for this to share the setup experience for how it would be. And actually, I would die for the chance to actually try this thing out and, and whatnot, especially if I can find a place around where I could. I think there's some mountain trails along the Appalachian where they have some spots where you could kind of get off the trail and do a, a, a single overnight type stay, uh, especially since this is rated for the winter weathers. I would love to actually test it out for the cold and see how that actually lies. So there you have it. That is everything that comes within the full kit of the Krua Koala. Uh, I'd say check them out. They've got a lot of other cool items and uh, tents on their site from a single person to a complete modular system that has tents and then connection annex type hallways where you can connect a whole series together. Uh, which down the road I might you know get upgraded to that to create you know a nice little outdoor setup and party time so thanks for watching and go ahead check them out uh they're crua outdoors c-r-u-a outdoors.com so thanks for watching